What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have an update to the Yalu Tark jailbreak and uh, in this update I fixed a couple of bugs and also I tweaked a little bit the uh, functionality of the certification time. So I invite you to see what's going on in here. Now before we start you should probably know that uh, my version of Yalu, the uh, fork of Yalu, Yalu Dark, actually has the source code available on uh, GitHub. So if you want to check out what is changed, uh, what I did um, and how I implemented something. And if you want to be sure that you're you're running something that won't break your device, you can check out the project available uh, right here. Also, if you want the IPA directly, you can go here to my project page to IPA build. The link will be in the description. And we're talking about beta 8. And uh, the beta 7, it's still available, uh, the IP for beta 7, in case you have any problems with this new beta. So, right, I'm going to show you the changes. I changed a little bit the uh, design, so you're probably going to like it. And also the IPA hash is this one, if anybody is interested into checking it. Right, so let's go ahead and try to install this. Now, uh, again, speaking about the source code, the uh, source code is available, as I said, as the Xcode project. So anybody who wants to uh, to look into it, have it uh, with this segmentation in here. So we have from this segment to actually uh, this, you have my code modifications that I made. Up on, up on this point, you should probably not ask me about anything um, from the code because it's not my code, it's Todesco's. But for this segment in here that is uh, actually... Um, um, marked as being my code, you can ask me anything about the implementation and so on. Feel free to use the code, whatever you want. So um, in order to install it, of course, you use CDI Impactor, you probably know that. Or if you're using CDI Extender, you can go ahead, download the IPA using Safari from the link in the description and load it in the extender and you know how to sign it from there. But I'm assuming you're using um, CDI Impactor, so I'm going to show you how to side load it first, and then I'm going to show you the uh, the new feature is. So you simply drag it and drop it into the device. Uh, you can be either jailbroken or um, into non-jailbroken state, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do so. You need to log in into your data, you probably know by now. All right, and now we need to click OK. It will start doing this. Make sure you're using the latest version of CDI uh, Impactor. Unfortunately, I put my password wrong, be right back. Okay, it will normally list the teams and so on. This is not a lengthy process. And then it will copy the IPA as you're probably uh, already um, got used to. And I'm going to show you the changes. Now, uh, this version improves a little bit the stability of the application and uh, moreover improves the design and the uh, certification time. So I'm gonna go back to the device and show you what's going on. All right, so I'm on the uh, device now and I'm going to show you the changes. I'm actually jailbroken. I actually jailbroke the device using this version so that I can uh, make sure it works perfectly. Uh, even though I didn't touch the jailbreaking code, it should uh, still be okay. Uh, and you can see here that uh, if you know the previous version, you probably noticed already that the color of, on the background is different. Now, the previous version was completely gray, pitch gray or pitch black. And this one is actually uh, slightly bluish or purplish, um, but it's actually on the screen, on your computer screen right now, the color you're seeing is actually much brighter than it is in the reality. It's much darker on the device itself. I do know why is that. But anyways, uh, you can see that the photo with Kim Jong-un and the Yalu River and so on is rendered better. This is for those of you who are paying a lot of attention to the little details and also the status bar. I transformed the status bar from dark or from black, which wasn't very good, into white. I know you're not going to spend a lot of time in the application to actually care about the design of it, but why wouldn't you use an application that looks good? For that three seconds that you're using, why wouldn't you use an application that looks good? So uh, on the signing status and on the code part, uh, you probably see that the uh, signing status no longer shows one day out of seven and so on. So this allows you to count uh, multiple days because if you reinstall it, there was a bug. If you have it installed and you re-sign it again using the same Apple ID, it will not be removed and reinstalled. So, for example, if it says seven days out of seven, it will continue eight days out of seven, nine days out of seven and so on. And that was a bug. So I removed that and I improved the code for detecting this. and 
each and every six days the application will give you a warning, a warning that you need to resign it. Of course, uh, you're not going to resign it if you're using um, CD extender and so on, but it will give you a, a warning so that you know the application will expire tomorrow, for example. So uh, yeah, the um, the signing status code was actually improved and it can now count to 180 days, which is six months. And um, yeah, after six months, I assume you should probably reload the IPA. Would be interesting to do so. But anyways, uh, on the stability part, I actually improved, as I say, the code behind it, so that uh, some of you that, that had errors in the past using it can now uh, use it properly. Keep in mind, this works for iOS 10.0 to 10.2, and the jailbreaking part is actually the same as on Yalu 102. So if you're having a problem with Yalu Dark, for example, I don't know, um, Yalu and any other IPA is not compatible with Immortal. If you have Immortal installed, uh, it's going to be okay, but if you restore the uh, device into non-jailbroken mode, it's going to mess up your profiles and any IPA that you have side-loaded, including Yalu, will no longer start, so do not install Immortal. Also, uh, the same code for jailbreaking applies for Yalu Dark and for Yalu 102. So if you have any problems or any bugs in Yalu Dark, assume they are also on the original Yalu. So it's not a bug of Yalu Dark, it's just a bug that exists in Yalu in general, because Yalu is in beta. For the uh, sorry, for the iPhone 7 users, you should use Mac Portal plus Yalu Beta 3. We discussed about that in one of my other videos, and the link is going to be in the description. This application is not compatible with iPhone 7. So this is actually it, guys. I really hope you, you will enjoy this update. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about the new design, if you like the new color scheme, and Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out.